Today we're going to cover why the black man who is in the image of Mighty God Ahaya is going through what he's going through. There are much complaining in the streets, on social media, why the enemy is doing what they're doing to the black man. For one, Mighty God Ahaya is black. Two, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were black. Esau was white, Satan's seed. We're going to go over the scattered and the gathering of Judah and Israel, the highest people. The obedience, the blessings, and the disobedience, the curses. For a fire is kindled in mighty God Ahia. And we're bringing all things into remembrance. As mighty God Ahia get closer and closer, we're getting closer to the second coming, the second exodus. There are many seducing and deceiving spirits out here deceiving people. So first we're going to cover the highest commandments and breaking those commandments which lead us where we are today. Starting off with Exodus 20. And mighty God Ahia spake unto these words, saying, I am Ahia thy mighty God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I am a higher thy mighty God. I am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of Ahiah thy mighty God in vain, for Ahiah will not hold him guiltless that take his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, which is the seventh day. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of mighty God Ahiah. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days Ahia thy mighty God made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore mighty God Ahia blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thy days may be long upon the land which Ahiah thy mighty God had given thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor and lie. Thou shalt not covet, take what is not yours, thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when that people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for Ahiah our mighty God is come to prove you, and that his fear may be before your faces, that you sin not. Ahiah mighty God said, you have seen that I have talked with you from heaven. You shall not make with me you shall not make with me gods of silver, neither shall you make unto you gods of gold. So we're getting into Deuteronomy twenty eight observances, the blessings and the cursings, while the black man is going through what they're going through. I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day that you shall soon utterly perish from off the land whereunto you go over Jordan to possess it. You shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. And a high and mighty God shall scatter you among the nations, and you shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither a high shall lead you. And there you shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Ahiah thy mighty God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, 
that Ahia thy mighty God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of Ahia thy mighty God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Ahia thy mighty God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shall thy be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. The high and mighty God will smite thee with the botch of Egypt, and with the emraz, hemorrhoids, and with the scab, and with the itch, whereof thou canst not be healed. The high and mighty God shall smite thee with madness, craziness, insanity, and blindness, and astonishment of heart. And I will scatter you among the heathen, and will draw out a sword after you, and your land shall be desolate, and your cities waste. You shall not go after other gods, of the gods of the people which are round about you. For Ahia thy mighty God is a jealous God among you, lest the anger of Ahia thy mighty God be kindled against thee, and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. Neither shall thou make marriages with them, Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me, and they may serve other gods. So will the anger of Ahia thy mighty God be kindled against you, and destroy thee suddenly. But thus shall ye deal with them. You shall destroy their altars, and break down their images, and cut down their groves and burn their graven images with fire. And it shall come to pass, when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all nations, whether Ahia thy mighty God had driven thee, and shall return unto Ahia thy mighty God, and shall obey his voice according to all that I have commanded thee this day. And thou and thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then Ahia thy mighty God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whether Ahia thy mighty God had scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto the utmost parts of heaven, from thence will Ahia thy mighty God gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and will hide my face from them if they disobey me, and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Or not these evils come upon us, because our God is not among us? And they shall shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Thus were they defiled with their own works, and went a-whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of mighty God Ahia kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen, and they that hated them ruled over them. So there you have it, right there in those first few scriptures, why mighty God Ahia was kindled against his own people for following after other gods, mainly the white man Jesus, which was created by the Catholics, the Jesuits. And when we were in our 12 tribes earlier, we were all under one accord. There was one tribe called the tribe of Dan, which were the white boys, and Many of them were getting a lot of give. We would have dance competitions. That's how we would get our food when we were in the 12 tribes. But Dan was not to be one of the tribes in the end. Therefore, when we had dance contests for our food, the tribe of Dan would get more lovely gifts than the rest of the other tribes. And so our people lusted after what the tribe of Dan was getting. So 
they went a whoring after other nations, after other gods, which lead us to where we are today. So I'm getting into Deuteronomy 32, verses 21 to 23. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. For a fire is kindled in mine anger, and shall burn unto the lowest parts of hell, and shall consume the earth with her increase, and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. I will heap mischiefs upon them. I will spend mine arrows upon them. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the suckling also with the man of gray hairs. And I said I would scatter them into corners. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Were it not that I fear the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should behave themselves strangely, and lest they should say, Our hand is high, and Ahia mighty God had not done all this. Mighty God Ahia have done all this. Mighty God Ahia is omnipotent, all-powerful, omniscient, all-knowing, and all-seeing, and omnipresent, present everywhere. There is nothing under the heavens or the earth that mighty God Ahia does not have his eye on. So let's get into Nehemiah chapter 1, verses 6 to 9. Let thine ear now be attentive, and thine eyes open, that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before thee now, day and night, for the children of Israel, thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee. Both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dealt very corruptly against thee, Ahiah, and we're very sorry, and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments, which thou commandest thy servant Moses. Remember, I beseech thee, Ahiah, the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses, saying, If you trespass, Transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. But if you turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them, though they were of you cast out unto the utmost parts of the heaven, yet will I gather them from thence and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return, thou backsliding Israel, said Ahia thy mighty God, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, said Ahia, and I will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge thine iniquity, thine sin, that thou hast transgressed against thee, against me, Ahia thy mighty God, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and you have not obeyed my voice, said Ahia, our El Elohi. Turn, O backsliding children, said Ahiah, our mighty God and heavenly Father. For I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion, which is Judah. Therefore, thus says Ahiah, mighty God of hosts, the mighty God of Israel, Behold, I will feed them, even this people, with wormwood, and give them water of gall to drink, and I will scatter them also among the heathen whom neither they nor their fathers have known, and I will send a sword after them till I have consumed them. To all those that are disobedient, Ahiah have warned you that he will plague you with plagues and wormwood and give you gall to drink. So many of our people are going through hell for being disobedient and following other nations, other gods. Jeremiah 10 verses 20-21 my tabernacle is spoiled, and all my cords are broken. My children are gone forth of me, and they are not. There is none to stretch forth my tent any more, and to set up my curtains. For the pastors are become brutish, and have not sought after me, a high of thy mighty God. Therefore they shall not prosper, and all their flocks shall be scattered. Therefore will I scatter them as the stubble that passeth away by the wind of the wilderness. This is thy lot, thy portion of thy measures from me, said Ahia mighty God. 
because thou hast forgotten me and trusted in falsehood. For I am with thee, said a high mighty God, to save thee, though I make a full end of all nations, whither I have scattered thee, yet I will not make a full end of thee, if only you would turn back unto me, repent, and be saved. But I will correct thee in measure, and will not leave thee altogether unpunishment. So Ahia is chastising us. Any of us that are not being punished by him is not his. So be humble, take the ass whooping, be sorry for disobeying Almighty God and Heavenly Father Ahia, and he will save and bless us. Psalm 4411 Thou hast given us like sheep appointed for meat, and hast scattered us among the heathen. Go ye, inquire of Ahia for me, and for the people, and for all Judah, concerning the words of this book, that is found. For great is the wrath of mighty God Ahia, that is kindled against us, because our fathers have not hearkened unto the words of this book, to do according unto all that which is written concerning us. Because they have forsaken me, says Ahia, and have burned incense unto other gods, that they might provoke me into anger with all the works of their hands. Therefore my wrath shall be kindled against this place, and shall not be quenched. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and you perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Therefore, says Ahia, mighty God, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, Yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Therefore say, Thus says a high and mighty God, I will even gather you from the people, and assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. And I will bring you out from the people, and will gather you out of the countries wherein you are scattered, with a mighty hand, and with a stretched out arm, and with fury poured out. I will accept you with your sweet savor when I bring you out from the people, and gather you out of the countries wherein you have been scattered, and I will be sanctified in you before the heathen. And there shall be no more a pricking briar unto the house of Israel, nor any grieving thorn of all that are round about them, that despiseth them, and they shall know that I am Ahia their mighty God. Thus says Ahia mighty God, When I shall have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered, and shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the heathen, then shall they dwell in their land that I have given to my servant Jacob. And they shall dwell safely therein, and shall build houses and plant vineyards, yeah, they shall dwell with confidence, when I have execute judgments upon all those that despise them round about them, and they shall know that I am a higher their mighty God. Wherefore, I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land, and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathen, and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings. I judged them. And when they entered into the heathen, whither they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said to them, These are the people of mighty God Ahia, and are gone forth out of his hand, out of his land. The people complained and lusted. Starting with Numbers 11, 1. And when the people complained, it displeased mighty God Ahia, and mighty God Ahia heard it. And his anger was kindled, and the fire of Ahia burnt among them, and consumed them that were in the utmost parts of the camp. And the people stood up all that day, and all that night, and all that next day, and they gathered the quail. They start complaining about the food after mighty God Ahia took us from the land of Egypt. They start complaining in the wilderness. And he that gathered leaves scattered ten homers, and they spread them all aboard from themselves round about the camp. And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of mighty God Ahia was kindled against his people, and Ahia smote the people with a very great plague. 
And he called the name of that place Kibratha. Sorry for the name. Kibrath Hatava. Because they there they buried the people that lusted. So when you lust after the eyes, lust after the flesh, mighty God Ahaya will punish you for that. Israel joined themselves to Baal, Peor, starting with Numbers 32, 13. And Ahaya's anger was kindled against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness forty years into all the generation that had done evil in the sight of Ahaya, mighty God was consumed. The scattered enemies. Let mighty God Ahia arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. Rebuke the company of spearmen, the multitude of the bulls Ahia, with the calves of thy people, to every one smit himself with the pieces of silver. Scatter thou the people that delight in war. For lo, thine enemies, O Ahia, for lo, thine enemies shall perish, all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. Cast forth lightning and scatter them, Ahia, we pray. Shoot out thine arrows and destroy them. Yeah, Ahia sent it out his arrows and scattered the heathen. He scattered them and he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. A wise king scattered the wicked and bringeth the wheel over them. Behold, mighty God Ahia maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste and turned it upside down, and scattered abroad the inhabitants thereof. And higher our mighty God shall cause his glorious voice to be heard, and shall show the lightning down of his arm with the indignation of his anger, and with the flame of a devouring fire, with scattering, and tempests, and hailstones. Behold, says Ahia, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth, Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shall make the hills as chaff, the mountains and hills he speak of, or people. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in Ahia, our mighty God, and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, mighty God Ahia, will hear them. I, mighty God, Ahia of Israel, will not forsake them. They shall come with weeping and with supplications. Will I lead them? I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way, wherein they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, and, a, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear the words of Ahia, O ye nations, and declare it in the isles afar off, and say, he that scattered Israel would gather him, and keep him as a shepherd doth his flock. For a higher mighty God had redeemed Jacob, and ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he. I will also gather all nations, and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, and will plead with them there for my people, and for my inheritance Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations, and parted my land. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathered not with me scattered abroad. He had showed strength with his arm, he had scattered the proud in the imaginations of their hearts. He that is not with me again is against me, and he that gathered not with me be scattered. Mighty God Ahai had accomplished his fury, he had poured out his fierce anger, and had kindled a fire in Zion and it had devoured the foundations thereof. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for mighty God Ahiah has spoken it. My anger was kindled against the shepherds, and I punished the goats, for mighty God Ahiah of hosts had visited his flock, the house of Judah, and had made them as his goodly horse in the battle. I am come to set fire on the earth, and what I will, if it be already kindled. So there you have it. So currently we're or under a new covenant, since we repented and are very sorry for disobeying mighty God Ahia, we're under a new covenant, starting with Isaiah 43, 
18 through 19. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it? Behold, the days come and said a high and mighty God, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. This shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says a high and mighty God. I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their mighty God and they shall be my people. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he, be, he said, Behold, the days come, said a high and mighty God, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says a high and mighty God. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a mighty God, and they shall be to me a people. And what agreement? had the temple of mighty God Ahia with idols. For you are the temple of the living mighty God Ahia. As Ahia mighty God had said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. They shall be my people and I will be their mighty God. So mighty God Ahia is turning back the wrath against his people Israel and Judah and he promised to save us. Starting with Isaiah 35, 4. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your mighty God Ahia will come with vengeance, even El Elohi, which means mighty God, with a recompense. He will come and save you. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am Ahia thy mighty God. I will strengthen thee, yeah. I will help thee, yeah. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. For I will surely deliver thee, and thou shalt not fall by the sword. But thy life shall be for a prey unto thee. Because thou hast put thy trust in me, said a high and mighty God. I have declared and have saved and I have showed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore you are my witnesses, said a high and mighty God, that I am a mighty God. For a higher your mighty God is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Assemble yourselves and come draw near together, you that are escaped of the nations that have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven image, and pray unto a God that cannot save them. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom you are afraid. Be not afraid of him, said a high and mighty God, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. I will also save you from all your uncleannesses, and will call for the corn, and will increase it, and lay no famine upon you. And it shall come to pass that as you were accursed among the heathen, O house of Judah and house of Israel, so will I save you, and you shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your hands be strong. For by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of me, your mighty God, Ahia. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness, kindness, the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. And the high and mighty God sent me before you to preserve you a posterity in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. But as for you, you thought evil against me, but mighty God Ahia meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. As I have said before in the Forgotten Books of Eden, Book 1, Chapter 14, 4, I will save you and your descendants when I come down from heaven and shall become flesh of your descendants and take on myself the infirmity from which you suffer. O Adam, as to the fruit of the tree of life that you have asked for, I will not give it to you now, but only when the fifty-five hundred years are fulfilled. At that time I will give you fruit from the tree of life, and you will eat and live forever. You and Eve, and your righteous descendants. So there you have it. Mighty God Ahia promised after 5,500 years that he will send Yeshua the Messiah, which is Mighty God Ahia in the flesh, to save us. And we're at that 5,500 year mark, and uh, we're going to continue with the Forgotten Books of Eden, Chapter 3, 
concerning what he said about the 5,500 years, and we're going to end at that. A little here I said to Adam, I have ordained on this earth days and years, and you and your descendants shall live and walk in them, until the days and years are fulfilled. When I shall send the word, which is Yeshua, our Messiah, that created you, and against which you have transgressed, the word, mighty God, Ahiah's son, Yeshua, that made you come out of the garden, and that raised you when you were fallen. Yes, the word, Yeshua, Messiah, and King, that will again save you when the five and a half days are fulfilled. Then El Elohi Ahiah, in his mercy, for Adam, who was made after his own image and likeness, explained to him that these were five thousand and five hundred years, and how one would then come and save him and his descendants. And Ahia mighty God said to Adam, I told you that at the end of the five and a half days, I will send my word, Yeshua, the Messiah, the King, to save you. So there you have it. The Messiah is back in the earth. And he's here to clean us up. One third of us he sent into the earth to help rehabilitate the fallen angels that followed Satan. Even some of us went whoring after the other gods, that white Jesus and, and Buddhas and any other gods that these other heathen nations have set up. We was not supposed to do that. But now mighty God Ahia has turned us back to him, allow us to repent, and he come to save us. And we're very sorry for turning our backs against mighty God Ahia. So we're finishing off with Isaiah 41, 14. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, said Ahia mighty God, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. For I will surely deliver thee, and thou shalt not fall by the sword, but thy life shall be for a prey unto thee, because Thou hast put thy trust in me, said Ahia, mighty God. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Ahia shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion, which is Judah, and in Jerusalem, which is Israel, shall be deliverance. As mighty God Ahia has said, and in the remnant he shall call. Thank you for listening.